Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm looking at the Spigen Power Arc Arc Station Pro. It's a 100 watt charger with gallium nitride technology. They got some things on here that it can do. This power quality technology, we're gonna check that out for sure. You can see it's got a whole pile of logos on the side. They tell you about all the different outputs that it can do. And this does have a, a two port system. So it tells you, you know, if you're using one port, you get the 100 watts, but if you use two ports, you're only gonna get 45 watts on each of the ports, that's fine. They do tell us a product weight, 215 grams, so we can check that out. Let's open it up. Thank you, with a, supposed to be a smile. There's a bold claim, beyond expectation. Uh-oh, sad face, need help. Got the flipping plugs. See the two USB ports, the logo, it's on both sides. It's upside down on one side. And we can see the, the kind of specs that are on there. Those are gonna be pretty hard to read. They're very faint, but I think it's the same stuff that was on the box. You got the different power ratings here. This is just 2.5 amps max on the input. So when we saw our uh, previous 100 watt adapter, we saw two amps max. So our expectation with the claim on here is that this might have some kind of correction in it or something. The packaging for the Spigen weighs 33 grams. Spigen power adapter weighs 216 grams. Right on the target. Gallium nitride, G-A-N. So they say up to five time energy savings and a hundred times faster. <laughs> so the Spigen power adapter did not come with the user manual. Uh, not that it really needed to. It did come with the little cards, but yeah, no actual physical user manual. Basically all the information you need is right here on the box though. So that's actually nice. They effectively put their user manual on the box. One of the weak spots with this unit that I see right away is that it doesn't have a US or Canada on the safety listing over here. So this is, as far as I can tell, not US or Canada safety listed. So effectively an unlisted product for the United States. Let's plug it in and check out the idle power consumption. So overall for idle, we can see that the power is only about 0.05 watts, that's great. Uh, power factor is miserably low, so that means the VA number is gonna be on the high side with 1.75. So it's moving a lot of current around, but it's uh, not using a lot of real power. As before, we're gonna have to swap out this USB cable because this is not rated for the 100 watts. So we'll have to swap that over to this cable where we can actually pull the full 100 watts. And let's go through the modes and see what this thing can do. So we have five volts, nine volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, 20 volts, and then back to five volts. So not bad, so five different modes, good. Let's go ahead and turn on like a 10 watt load and see what happens. All right, so our power factor came up a little bit, so about 0.53. This isn't enough to tell us whether it's got good power factor, bad power factor yet. Let's go ahead and take a look at the THD. That is gonna tell us something. And the THD number is not great, 155%. That's got me a little bit worried. So at 50 watts, our THD is still 116, 117%. That's not very good. Our voltage THD is coming up a little bit as well. It's about 3.7%. Power is okay. Power factor is very low. So that means our current is gonna be very high. Our peak current's sitting around 2.2 amps right now. Uh, so what I'm seeing right now is that this is not a power factor corrected device. 100 watts. So this is the full load condition. So we can see the 100 watts on the output. You can see over here, we got about 111, 112 watts on the input. You can see our power factor is still not very good, which means our current's gonna be too high. So one of the things this device said is it said two point, it says it uses 2.5 amps max. So we're running at the full load, and we can see that this device is using 3.6 amps peak. So that 2.5 amp number is just meaningless. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't correlate to any of the numbers. So I don't know why they're even including that on there because it really doesn't mean anything. Uh, and if anything, they should be saying that this is a four amp max device, not 2.5 amps. And because this doesn't have power factor correction, it means that this thing can, can draw way more current than what they're, they're claiming. So that's not so great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take it up to overload. I'm just gonna go up to 105 to start. Let's go 106, 108, 110, 110. 11, it's doing that, it's doing 113, let's try 114. All right, there's where it cut out. So it did 113 watts. And then it recovered to the five volt setting as these usually do. So that's good. All right, so we're back to our 20 volts. You can see how we got our 10 watts. 
Everything seems to be working. You can change the modes while it's on, so that's that's a win. This box specifically says power quality technology, and, and I was hoping that this would have power factor correction as that claim. Uh, but as far as I can tell, this has no power quality technology and is actually just a larger standard power adapter. It's doing nothing special at all. So because of those numbers we saw for this power adapter, when we take a look at the overall results, we can see that it's not amazing. It does have good idle power quality score because that idle power did drop down. The THD was a little bit lower on the idle condition, but then as soon as we start to load it down, the THD shoots up and then it stays high once the device is on because again, this device doesn't have power factor correction. So the power factor stayed low as well. The efficiency did peak up around 91%, so that's not too bad. But because of those other factors, the power quality is not fantastic. So I'm gonna look at this device a little bit differently. I'm gonna look at it at the 10 watt and the 25 watt condition specifically. And so if we look at the 25 watt condition and compare this to the 20, 20 and 30 watt adapters, you can see that it's actually basically on par with the better adapters in that range. So it has an advantage, but it also has a disadvantage. If you wanna use this as a 30 watt power adapter, it has a higher VA in. So this is basically using extra current in that idle mode. Uh, versus those other power adapters. So you're better off using one of those. And if you wanna to go to the higher mode, this doesn't have the power factor correction. So it ends up using massive amounts of peak current, which is not good for your power lines and is actually gonna end up costing a fairly significant amount of wasted energy. It is still fairly efficient though. So when we take a look at this on the graph, we can see I'm using the new graph system here with this because it is a 100 watt class device. And we can take a look and see that it you know, kind of falls down where the other adapters are. So it's idle value, it does have good power quality on the idle condition, so it's, you know, not too bad there. So it looks good at that condition, but again, remember that power factor is very, very low. When we take a look at the under load condition, we can see that it falls far short of the hyphen X power adapter, which has a power factor correction on all the modes. So we can see that it just doesn't keep up. Overall, this little Spigen power adapter does not get the recommendation for me. It is a little bit cheaper than the hyphen X, the hyphen X came in at $50, $50 or so, and this one came in at about $42. Um, but for $42, I really would expect that you'd have a little bit more of a feature set in this one, and it just doesn't have that. So overall, I'd say skip this one. Some of the, the, the other speaking adapters aren't too bad. The 20 watt adapter that I've looked at is, is not a bad adapter, but, but this one is a, a skip for me. I would say get the hyphen X instead. So let me know what other power adapters you wanna see. If you wanna see some 100 watt, adapters or some 65 watt adapters. There's a whole bunch of different things out there. Thanks for watching and bye.